talking about Argyle this week, but I didn't make it due to my trip to Thailand, leaving me with a jet lag once I got home. I will be talking about a couple of movies this week, but first I'd like to remind you of something about Thanksgiving that I forgot to mention last week. Thanksgiving took place in Plymouth, which is obviously near Boston. They used that as an excuse to do a very bad Boston accent. I noticed this when I listened to the police officer in the movie. Now, maybe that was actually supposed to be part of their comic relief. If it was not, it wasn't a good Boston accent. The Beekeeper, which was one movie I saw this week, also took place in and around Boston at parts, and they did not use that as an excuse to do a bad Boston accent. So thank you for that. I just got a message saying that there's a problem with my computer. Yes, ma'am, we got this. <laughs> Yesterday she shot herself. The beekeeper was a bit cheesy, but there was some interesting twists and turns as they revealed the plot. And there was barely anything in terms of relationships between men and women. It was nice just to see action, especially driven by some women characters. The beekeeper is a film that was packed with action, which means violence, violence, violence. And that means leave the kiddos at home. There wasn't much in the way of TNA, if you know what I mean. So if that's what you're looking for, you might want to buy a ticket to something else. I specifically enjoyed the explosions. I love when they do pyrotechnics on the big screen. I really enjoyed The Beekeeper this weekend, and it's a good reminder that the law and justice are not always on the same side. However, I must remind you against getting ideas from the main character of this film. His vigilantism is not something you want to mimic, and it could wind you up in jail. There are always other alternatives of things you can do, like voting or writing letters to your governmental officials. I finally made it to the anime film, The Boy and the Heron. That's right, it originated in Japan and there is an English overdub you can see rated PG-13 in the theaters right now. Um, I thought it was imaginative, it was magical, it was a ride through many different worlds. It was exciting, except for there is one part where the young child exhibits a scene of self-harm and I was really disturbed by that, especially because they used it as a piece in an entertainment film. And I don't like that idea. Um, other than that, you know, go give it a try. See what you think. Um, anime tends to be fun, although there are many different types of anime. What I appreciated was the old style cartoons that I grew up on. Um, when I was growing up, a lot of cartoons looked like that, whether it be from Japan or not. Now it's mostly just computer generated, especially from the US. And so there was a bit of nostalgia for me. I enjoyed that. I did feel like the subject matter covered in parts of the boy and the heron were a little bit mature for really young viewers. And then I looked at the rating and it is rated PG-13, just so you are aware. Oh, and the voices included Mark Hamill, Christian Bale, Willem Dafoe, and the guy from Twilight, whatever the hell his name is. Um, yeah, I thought that was neat too. They were all in the overdubs for the English version.